Hey family, let's get to this reading. Oh, hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, Most High, what is the energy surrounding my powerful Scorpio collective? Messages of clarity and truth. Messages. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing. <laughs> the first thing is I see is so in love with you. So right now, I do see that there's somebody that is falling in love with you. I feel like it's an obsessive energy because more than one car fell out. So this person has a lot of things going on in their mind and they really don't know how or when would be the best time for them to come in and even talk to you about some of these things. It's this childhood dysfunction still affecting my right now. This person has went through some things in their childhood and it's like that is another reason why they don't know how to express how they feel because they were not able to express how they felt about certain situations and topics when they were growing up. Um, I see here childish. This person is very much childish. I feel like they haven't matured in certain aspects pertaining to their feelings, to their emotions, and to how and during how to communicate effectively to get their point across without feeling uh shunned out, hushed up, or, or or feeling like they've really been heard. I feel like growing up, maybe this person was told to be quiet, don't talk about certain things, or was just really uh, told to just suck it up. And that's more of the energy I'm getting. This person was not listened to. So when in uh, combative or in a, in, in a communication um, debate, I feel like this person immediately shuts down, especially if they feel like they're being pushed in the corner or if they feel like they have to address some situations that they don't feel like addressing. Um, I see here all the money. So this person is, it says I'm so in love with you, but it's right under all the money. I feel like at one point in time, this, this person probably disassociated themselves for, from you because they didn't feel that you were abundant they did not feel that you had what it took to be around them. This individual seems very materialistic, but also Scorpios, let me just say that Spirit is saying that there's a lot of abundance coming your way. Spirit says you are going to have all the money. So it makes me feel like whatever there is that you've been investing in, whatever it is that can happen in your favor, like if you're going through a lawsuit, if you had a file for some type of claim and you're just not sure, if you were waiting on some type of assistance, Spirit says all of these things are about to just start just falling in on you like so fast and, and and what's about to take place is that all of these things are going to happen so fast that you your life is going to change so quickly i'm getting like in the blink of an eye like i'm getting like overnight fame success overnight millions or billions overnight abundance and I feel like whoever this, this person is that's watching you, they are seeing the energy, your aura of abundance. Because I feel like you're already walking in this abundant type of energy. The way you move, the way you, you smile, the way you speak, you're already speaking as if you have so much. And even if it hasn't materialized, it is materializing. And this person can see it. And I feel like not only are they falling in love with you because of some of the feelings that they had to suppress, towards you because of how they were raised, but I also feel like this person is watching you grow and they are admiring you from a distance. It says, if only I treated you better. So this person knows that they mishandled you in the past. And like I said, a lot of these things spun up from the way they were raised in their past, uh, from their parents or just their upbringing. And right now this person is in a I feel like this person is in a state of disbelief. Disbelief that they got, that they messed over somebody that was like you. And also, I feel like you were not this individual's type. They were used to materialistic type of individual. People who were not genuine. They were really fake and didn't um, didn't really give to a situation. They were mostly takers. Even though this person has grown to be a taker because they were around manipulative energies, I feel like this person wanted to continue wanted to manipulate you because they felt you were kind of weak i feel like like y'all both had two different type of backgrounds like this person could have been had to get it out the mud all they know is survival and you kind of raised off of love or compassion or something like that one of those things missed were missing from the uh, either one of you 
And with this child, it says you knew I was a player. So like I said, this person had a lot of third party situations that they entertained or, or, or entangled you in at this time. And right now, I also feel like there's a lot of third party situations that this person could be still dealing with. But it's like they're focused on you because of your abundance. It's something about you that is very much abundant and they're focused on you. And I do see just for the kids. So these other people that this person was dealing with, they could have told you that the only reason why they're dealing with this particular person or whatever was because they have children with them but i feel like this person has uh has children by multiple people though and now they're wishing i feel like this person has had children by other people since you and them have been at a place of separation because now it's like they have to deal with these other people because of the children. And I also feel like right now they're just not sure on how they're going to come back in towards you. They don't even feel like you're going to allow them to because how childish, how immature they acted when it was dealing with you. You're really like at this state where it's like, you know, I'm really not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, and then we see here, um, third party. Yeah, this person is still very much talking to other people, but I also feel like, oh, it says someone is expecting. So yeah, they they really have somebody else pregnant. And not only do they have somebody else pregnant, but I feel like they're, they're still trying to see how can they come in to you. Like, I don't want to be a part of this bullshit. You already got problems, baby. I'm straight. They just, just tell them you're straight. I'm straight. Mm hmm. For some of y'all, I keep saying I'm straight. I feel like this person could be a little bisexual too. It's like an energy, like they're trying to convince people outside of them or people that could, could, could could sense this person has a, a sexual appetite for the same sex or the opposite sex if one person feel that they are supposed to be with opposite sex. It's like, it's either or. So it's like, I, I feel like this person uh, is having so many children or, 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 or having so many of these uh, opposite sex encounters because they want to deter away from them uh, enjoying having relationships with the same sex or vice versa. If this person, if y'all do all on the same sex type of relationship, this person is, is getting with so many people of the same sex because they really enjoy having intercourse with somebody of the opposite sex. Whoa. Okay. 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 Spirit. What else should we know right now? Butterfly. So somebody wants to come in because you're elevating and they want to try to, uh, uh, start a new phase with you. Um, this person could be going through some financial uh, trials and tribulations. I see here, not enough. This person doesn't feel like they're enough. That's the reason why they mistreated you in the first place because it was something about your character. They didn't feel like they were good enough for you, but now they know that time is running out. And also, when it says girl with the snake, this person is a narcissist, has narcissistic energy. So Spirit says when they do come back up, make sure that you're setting up healthy boundaries. Make sure that you're cutting off things that you really don't want because this person is still not healed still in a lower vibrational energy and they're still on that fuck boy or fuck girl shit last but not least we have karmic relationship yeah this you are triggering this person because of your elevation and you're not allowing them back into your life this person is it feels like they're losing you and they don't know how to let go this person is learning a huge lesson on how to really treat people, on how to reciprocate or acknowledge real love. This person has not, is like really not um, in tune with their higher self. They ignore all of the of the red flags. They ignore all of the intuition. It's like this person do the opposite of what spirit be telling them to do. So now they feeling real stupid, kicking themselves because you were the gold. You are the prize. You are the abundance now they got all these babies by all these people women and men that they really don't have no connection to but the sexual uh the sexual connection that they created potenting all right family i love you <laughs> bye